And it breaks my heart when I see an obituary that says, in lieu of flowers, please give gifts to the Southern Poverty Law Center to honor this person. Because that just that just makes me that makes me sad. It's it's a tragedy every time someone does that because they're saying my memory should be tied to this organization. And I don't think those people know how corrupt the Southern Poverty Law Center is. I mean, we talk about they're they're referenced as an expert on hate and domestic extremism and domestic terrorism. Meanwhile, their hate map inspired a domestic terrorist attack in 2012. And I don't know if if your audience remembers in 2017 there was a shooting at a practice for the congressional baseball game and that shooter uh, had liked the Southern Poverty Law Center on Facebook. And of course, that doesn't sh- that doesn't prove that he was motivated by the Southern Poverty Law Center. But the SPLC had also repeatedly attacked Steve Scalise over and over and over again. And it's and Steve Scalise was the man who almost lost his life in that shooting. What we know about that shooter is that he was aiming for Republicans. And what we see, you know, in both of these assassination attempts on former president donald trump we see the left's egregious excessive demonization of the right lead to violence and it's it's been bizarre to watch the way that the fbi and other law enforcement agencies will try to silence when a conservative is the victim they'll you know when when it came to for instance the transgender shooter in nashville they fought tooth and nail to keep that manifesto from seeing the light of day mm. and yet as soon as anyone who is you know on the right the way they say it these people aren't really on the right when you're a crazed hater of people because of their race there's nothing conservative about that and yet What happens is, you know, when there's a horrible shooting involving someone that they can blame the right for, immediately the manifesto is released. Immediately the documents are clear. And meanwhile, when there's someone associated with a cause on the left, you know, they they slow walk it. They say, oh, this is an ongoing investigation. Never mind the fact that Audra Hale, for instance, is dead. You know, they're not they're not building a case against her. And yet they still fought to keep that from the public eye. Mm. And so I think what we see is the elites want to have this narrative. And the Southern Poverty Law Center is extremely useful for this narrative. Mm. That conservatives are some kind of domestic terror threat. Whereas on the left, there's no concern at all. 